nose can come up. Snaps to be inverted and then a push, hard push. And eyeballs are trying to come out of his skull now as he goes negative on that way up there. Goes right into the hover. Let's it hang up there. Look at that. Stop. Totally stop. And then right into the roll on the down line. Here he comes. Now he'll do the rolling half to an eight now with a push tumble. Watch as he brings that stick back into his lap. He starts the roll, comes up over the top, establishes himself on the 45 down line. Push tumble and watch the nose come right over the cockpit once and twice. He calls this next maneuver the frisbee. Here's Ron Holland. Watch carefully all the rudder he can get in there. From upright to upright with a snap there in the switchblade. He calls it the Frisbee. Now, setting up to the right for the switchblade hammerhead. Watch as he brings the nose straight up into the sky here above McDill. Going out of air speed and there is the hammerhead. But he goes to the knife edge on the way down. Series of warm rolls and aileron rolls as he goes to the vertical tumble now. Up we go. Ready, ready, and done. Gyroscopic maneuver up there. Let's play flat now. Drop under its own weight. Sets up for the swervel turn. Hard pull to the vertical. The swervel turn. Keeps the airplane shoulder rolling to the right. Flattens it out, uses all the rudder he's got, and then brings it right back down towards Joe Center. This one he calls the cardiac arrest. You can see why. Here we go. with Rob. I'll tell you what, I wanted to throw up, but I didn't know which way up was. Double hammerhead now, not one, but two in a row as he brings the airplane to the vertical. Stops the turn, stands on the rudder. Here we go, one time, one to the hammerhead, and the second time. Beautiful. Double hammerhead. Sets up the Watch him slide the aircraft across the sky here in front of him. A lot of rudder. A snap roll right there. And then continue with this fire line. Next he goes to the slide winder to the Cobra maneuver. Now watch this very carefully. It's going to look like the head of a Cobra state when it finishes this maneuver. spin going up to an outside knife edge spin. Here we go. Going to run out of some airspeed up there. Going to go right in to that inside knife edge spin. There's the inside. Breaks out of it. 
and puts it into the right hand spin. Sets up for the inside tumble. Why do you show it out? Got the power. Kicks in that weather. Do you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? Do you believe that? Rob Holland. Inside tumble. Sets up now for serving the half outside. Luke and Mark Burrows. Okay, he's rolling. Now outside. Once again, negative G trying to throw it out the cockpit. Up over the top now. Goes back to the inverted, back to the upright, back to the inverted, keeps rolling it, snaps it once, twice, to the inverted, and pushes once again to the outside. This airplane is stretched for 16 G, 16 times the force of gravity. A lot of times it all pulls 9 and 10 G. That was the typhoon tumble coming up next, the vertical tumble. Gets into the shoulder roll and then tumbles in at the top. Recovers back to the inverted. Sets up for the night. Hard pull. Sticks back in his lap. All the way up. Airspeed reducing. Let's it hang there. Wobbles it back and forth. How about that? The dive in. Rolling the motion. So center. And then he'll set up for the vortex. Oh, the board thing should go right into that cover. Uh -huh. Stand by. Uh -huh. Now, why do you need to bring this airplane to a complete stop up in the sky? The war tends to go right into the hub of the back, pick up the air speed. Take out the two to air speed. Get back on that stick, go straight up into the sky here. And watch it now. Here we go, we're going to stop the airplane and just hold it right there. Counting on all the horsepower of the MXS. Go ahead. Stand by for the knife inch pass. Normally, we have a runway right out in front of us. We're working with an offset. There's the knife inch pass. 